Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. It's been a beautiful Monday here in South Carolina, and I hope you've had a wonderful day too. Tonight we are going to be making meatloaf, and that is something that everybody loves, and it serves a lot of people, and it's very easy to make. So we just go get right started with it. All right, I have already opened my hamburger. That is four pounds of ground beef, and I buy the one that's 85% beef and 15% fat. That way you don't have a lot of um, fat content that, that comes out. So, all right, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to add four eggs. Now, if you don't need this much meatloaf, you can cut this recipe in half, but I, I've got some hungry people that I'll be feeding. So I'm gonna make one and it's good leftover. Oh, it makes wonderful sandwiches the next day. All right, that's my eggs. And then what I do with my bread, I just kind of run it under the water, just enough to get it nice and wet. So put that in there. And then I'm gonna add my ketchup. Now, the ketchup, I'm gonna go ahead and put a cup in there, but this is a 20 ounce container here of Hunt's ketchup, which is our favorite. So we're gonna see how we do here. Usually I just squirt it in here, but I knew y'all would want me to measure it. So we're gonna put some salt, good bit, and then pepper. Black pepper. Uh oh, I better open the other side, otherwise I'm gonna end up with a lot of pepper. All right, that is a plenty. Okay, now, I've washed my hands, so they're nice and clean. So all you do is just start, I guess you'd say squashing all these ingredients together. And I can see that's gonna be plenty of ketchup. So we're not gonna have to add any more ketchup. We're not gonna have to add anything really. In a minute, we're gonna put the onions in it, but I don't wanna have to be squashing around with the onions in there. So we'll put them in last. Okay. Well, Caroline just about had a heart attack. She's my videographer and she had no clue that you mix this thing all, all over with your hands. But while I was mixing it, I realized that I needed a little bit more bread in it. And so I added three more slices. So that's eight slices of bread that I have put in here um, to make this mixture kind of stick together good when it cooks. Now, this is two cups of chopped onion. That gives it such a good flavor. So we'll add all that. See, that's gonna make a big old meatloaf. But if you've got two or three men eating and then girls that love it, now see, you can See right there, that's gonna kind of make a nice little loaf. So here's our pan. I'll put this all in here. So that we have us like a meal in a dish, I guess you would say. We're gonna add carrots to the side of this. Okay, then we'll go stick us some little potatoes down. And I've washed these potatoes and scrubbed them good. These are little Klondike 
golden potatoes. You can use any kind. A lot of times I use the, the red skin potatoes. This way, when this gets done, this is kind of, kind of the way you would cook a roast beef because then you have vegetables and your meat. All right, now we go cover this thing with, with ketchup. Okay, so. Okay, this is all mixed and ready. I am going to sprinkle on the side over there with these potatoes and carrots with this Jane's Crazy Salt. Just give them a little bit of flavor. Now, I have set my oven on 375 degrees. Put a little bit on top of that. So, I will put this in the oven and it will probably have to cook at least an hour. I will check it um, after about 50 minutes or so and just kind of see how it is in the middle. But um, it'll take just about that long and you just cook it uncovered. You don't, you don't cover it. And so I'm gonna put it in the oven and we'll see you back in just a little while. Okay, we've been going about 45 minutes and um, this Meatloaf here is ready. And as you can see, it's just about a meal in a pan. So I'm gonna lift this thing out of here. Pretty heavy. I'll have to tell y'all something. One Sunday, long time ago, I was moving a casserole dish from my oven over here and I was using a wet towel. Well anybody knows that a wet towel conducts heat a lot faster than a dry towel. And I got just about to the middle of the floor and it was burning my hand and I just turned it loose. And it dropped on the floor <laughs> and it went into about a thousand pieces. Needless to say whatever it was we didn't have that that, that day. Alright now our rolls, Miss Schubert <laughs> Generously made out rolls for us tonight. That's the brand, by the way. And so, um, I have prepared uh, just a little mini meal over here. So let's look at what I've got. All right, we've got our meatloaf. We've got some steamed broccoli with butter on it. And we've got all the makings for um, salads, what, what everybody would want on a salad. And then for dessert, we have got Oreo pie and fresh strawberries and homemade pound cake. So we're going to have a good meal tonight. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. We are going to, it's beautiful here in South Carolina, the time of year that we just love so much. Everybody have a good night and shine for Jesus.